Welcome people from Earth and beyond. Today I will be showing you how to root and install CM13 on the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. Welcome people from Earth and beyond. That's insane and amazing at the same time. So guys, as you can see, this is extremely slim. I mean, I'm having no lag at all. Except when I'm playing a really hard game and then I press home. It takes a little while to load. But guys, come on. Will you have this many apps? Plus more are downloading. I mean, I'm not really your average phone user. <laughs> I use phones for gaming because... Everyone knows that they're actually better than tablets. Now, what I said there might sound insane, but it's true. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes they work better than tablets, especially my one. <laughs> so, I shall now switch to the screen view, where, as you can see, I have um, my trigger that's on, and I shall meet you there. Okay, guys, so for this, I'm actually using Action, which is not really for recording, but it's for gameplay. Mm, too bad. So what you're going to want to do is Google Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini CM13. And here you shall find this. Steranoltex. Steranoltex. That's the code name for our device. And as you can see, the first nightly, this one, it's always going to be the first one. Now, I can assure you that it's totally safe and shouldn't do anything to your phone as long as you follow my steps it's 100 percent safe so just click on that four minutes left so i'm actually gonna download this with you guys real time because i want to show you i don't know i just want to show you everything step by step guys 100 percent and while that's on i will show you one more thing on my phone so another thing you will need for your phone is a custom recovery it can be any custom recovery out there and I will make another video for that but it's usually extremely simple you go on to Odin and you just flash it and there's lots of videos on that so I don't really need to make one on that so to get into a custom recovery all you want to do is power off your phone now I'm waiting for it to do so now the way it's powering off so long is my fault shouldn't have been throwing the battery in water um too bad well if it takes so there we go i was gonna say something but no so i'm gonna need to place the camera somewhere so i can actually show you guys what you're going to want to do to boot into recovery is press the power button the up button and the home button at the same time so once you do that it should show up recovery booting right here you can't really see that it's in blue it says recovery booting i don't think my camera is the best at recording phone screens but basically here you go cm recovery clockwork mod recovery and what you're going to want to do is go into install zip and here it should say install zip from side load and you just want to stay in that just stay in that and here we go uh where could i place my phone so that you guys can see it when, while it's there. Yeah, I'll place it right here. Here we go. There. When you're installing Android from scratch, in the CM, CWM recovery, you have to click Wipe Data Factory Reset, and you have to click um, Advanced, and then Wipe Down the Catcher. If you don't do that, I'm not really sure what will happen, you might get your phone bricked. Make sure to install CWM recovery. Just make sure to use CWM. TWRP does not really work. So guys, then you're going to want to go into search. Come on, search. Okay, there we go. Come on. Okay, not, it doesn't always work. And type in CMD. You know what this is, you might not know how to use it, 
but it's extremely simple especially that i found an easy way just type in cd go into your android sdk folder by the way guys you will not have these folders here straight away unless i find a way to put it on into a zip folder and then place it on some sort of file archive but otherwise you won't have all these here straight away you're going to have to go into avd manager and download the last four files so i'm not going to do that anymore because avd manager takes a while to boot up so once you're here you're going to want to type in cd take your platform tools drag it there you go it's that simple and then from here you want to do adv devices just to make sure that your device is connected and it says sideload now now why did i say now twice you're going to want to go into downloads and type in adb sideload minus d and then just drag this right here enter enter oh nope that was wrong <laughs> so all you're going to want to do now is type in adb side load no adb minus d side load and then just drag your file from here into here press enter and it should start loading it onto your device now on your device you're not going to see anything for a while because it's not done sending it yet so now it's going to send it as you can see the percentage there is extremely like you can't really see it but if you look hard enough you'll see it now it's at four percent and it'll do some weird things it'll continue glitching like that until it's sent so i will fast forward here for you guys Okay guys, so while that is continuing, I forgot to say that, because I don't have to do this, because I am upgrading from an older version of CM13, but ye guys that are going to install this from fresh, from start, ye are going to need something that is called GAPS. Now I'll go through exactly what GAPS is, because I know some people here might already know what it is, but I, I don't know. GAPS is basically all your Google apps. It's the Google Play Store, it's um, basically without it you won't be able to install apps. Now that's quite important, isn't it? So you can see here CM13 Android 6.0, oh, just click on that. And it'll take you to this website. Now here you can download your any preferred type. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to download Nano because it's it doesn't have a lot of things in it. And this is just for like me showing you because I'm not going to install this again because that would refresh everything and I don't want to do that. I'm just upgrading. Remember that guys. I am just upgrading. Now this is a way to do it from start as well. That's why I'm making this video in the first place. So if you're doing this from start just follow all of these steps and you will be totally fine. So 20 seconds left and in here it's 62. So basically what you're going to want to do with the Google Apps folder is the exact same thing. Just exact same thing that you did with the CM13. Just drag it in to the command prompt. And I will show you that guys, don't worry, just in case you don't understand what I mean. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for you to understand. So, 66%. It's going to start installing everything, and you're going to see it saying, what does it say? Opening update package. 
First discussion, finding update package, opening opening package, effective file system, flashing or patching file system unconditionally or something like that, system image. And it's just going to show a little line and that line's going to go like um, blue. So I'm going to wait for that to finish. And now it is at 99%, a 5% and a 100. Now I can't see the one for some weird reason. But now on your phone, you'll see something weird happening. Now it's not weird, it's supposed to happen, but it's going to start installing everything. And you're going to see it saying, what does it say? Opening update package. First it's gonna say finding update package, opening update package, detected file system, flashing or patching file system unconditionally or something like that, system image. And it's just gonna show a little line and that line's gonna go like um, blue. So I'm going to wait for that to finish. And once that's finished, I'll show you how to install the gaps. Okay, guys, so now it is installed. So to install the gaps, you're just going to want to, oh, no, not that. You don't don't click that go into so you're just going to want to go adb minus d side load or without the minus d guys minus d is just for me because i'm upgrading but if if it says error or something use the minus d and you just go into your downloads and you i need to refresh there we go take the open gaps paste it there and click enter now guys i as i said i will not click enter because my is just upgrading so now i will be back to the phone so guys now on the phone you're going to want to go back i don't know if you can see these i hope you can and reboot system now click no never click yes there unless you want your phone bricked that's a good way to start just I'm gonna place the phone right there. I'm gonna place the nah that, that's a that's one of the worst ideas I had. And now I will let you guys watch as the phone turns on, as how long it takes and I mean my one will turn on a little longer than yours, or a little shorter, it depends, because my one needs to upgrade Android. Your one's installing Android from scratch. <laughs> So guys, as you can see now, this will not show up on yours. It might, it probably will actually, but it'll take a lot less because I've got a lot more apps for it to upgrade. I've got games, I've got programs, so I will be back to you guys once this is done. Oh, and remember that this is like the best thing that could have ever happened to you. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you there. So guys, from there, it's all done. Once you've installed the gaps and the CM13, you're ready to go. It'll finish upgrading Android, and it will show you the boot logo. No, no, no. It'll show you the Android startup screen, which basically means, you know, put in your name, your Gmail, your stuff like that. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you again in my next video. Peace out.